Welcome back to some more Dirt 4, and welcome back to the Philo channel here. Um, I did not stream like I promised last night. Uh, yesterday we had some severe weather rolling through in the mid-afternoon. Uh, like, we had a close call with the tornado, which was trying to form, but did not form. And it was literally really close to where I worked. Um... And in my town, pretty much. There, so there's a lot of high wind damage and a lot of hail damage. Um, to say things flooded and everything got all crazy there for a while. And to be honest with you, after the end of that yesterday, I did not feel like streaming at all. I just wanted to go to bed. It had been a very rough day. And defining rough, my car, which I know I joked about this a while ago... I, well, if something were to happen to my car specifically, like if it got totaled out, I knew a car I was going to get, or if something were to happen to it, it might be a bit easier on me, but something did happen to my car, and it's, it's still fine, it drives just fine, but I have a crud ton of dents and dings in it due to hail. And they're all over, like, the roof of my car is popcorns, there is just absolutely my hood, my trunk, driver's side of my car has dents in it, there is quite a bit of dents in there. And my car isn't, doesn't have much value in it, and in this area, I don't know how much it is for dent repair per dent, but online it's pretty it can be pretty expensive so my car might actually get totaled out due to it I love the car I really do I know it's expensive but geez but anyway that's not what we're here for tonight we're here to actually finish up that rally cross <laughs> I got like two left to do I know I left it at a cliffhanger I was supposed to finish it the last time but I didn't so we're gonna finish it today there's just so many races in it it took forever so we're going to finish it today, do a little bit of other races, maybe advance in the actual rally. I think the sprint rally or whatever it's called. I can't remember what it is. But that's what we're doing tonight. going to get my mind off things and do some rally racing. Ah, severe weather is not fun. If you live in one of those areas to where, you know, you, you, you get tornadoes or you get flash floods and whatnot or hurricanes you know in an event like that it's not fun and to be honest with you I kind of wanted to go outside and see what I was doing but at the same time I was at work and it required me to go into the safe or what we call a safe zone for uh, an event like that which at Walmart and <laughs> Off, 
place in town that I trust and it's an actual car dealership which they have an auto body repair and they're really good at what they do and they're really trusted here so but they're probably going to be expensive okay what are we damage here uh dampers and light body damage yeah from one thing good lord okay so anyways so how's everyone else's uh couple of days have been face like he's all focused like Ugh, how did i get second place on that heat what the hell oh it's probably because i hit a couple of things whoopsie 
disqualifying three. And on a side note, like, I was smelling something funky before I started the screen, and I looked down at my feet and I saw my socks on, and I recognized the smell. Good lord, my feet are smelly. It smells like rotten cheese. Ugh. Get that smell in your mouth. this race ended, I will actually be right back.
Alrighty, there we go. I'm back. Ah, uh, yeah, we had multiple close calls around here. Tornadoes. We had one touchdown at, um, oh, what park was it? Stone State Park. It, there were some, uh, Boy Scouts out there. Some of them didn't quite make it, but, you know, they're out camping in the middle of summer. And the storm popped up out of nowhere, but it's, it happens. Sad, but it does. Well, a couple of years ago, we had one. He got his first car and his first job. He got this old, I think it was like a 94, no, it was a little bit older than that. It was a Ford Tempo is what he had. And for some reason from the, from where he worked, he worked at a high V and behind the high V there's this dirt road that leads all the way back to where he lives out. Oh, I think he lived about 30 minutes away from, uh, he lives three minutes away from my town, he lives out in Jackson, and he lives out in the bluff, so he's got dirt roads that he's got to travel, and this dirt road led to the, pretty much his main dirt road, which will lead him straight to his house, and he take that all, take that all the time, and there's a couple of curves and corners around there, and he thought he was, um, Mr. Badass, and, excuse the French, but, He'd go around the corners a little bit quick and pull the e-brake and try to drift it and swing it around and everything. And it wasn't bad. There wasn't much that he could hit throughout there doing it. But this one, 
one more for that back here that was kind of small. bent on actually destroying that car so when he ramped high enough his front ends came up we almost um cartwheel cartwheeled it but we landed with his front end and we damaged his radiator then his front bumper damaged the radiator started leaking radiator fluid and i think he somehow busted his um oil pan then it started leaking uh oil as well and because of that, he decided to actually park it and leave it sit for a couple... I think he let it sit for another half a year before he decided to scrap it, but... That tempo went through a lot for him. Ended up destroying the crap out of it, too.
iron thing that looked like an SD something. It's a name there, but it's an iron trim. an automatic transmission, like they're starting to automatic them. A lot of the more older trucks, though, have manual transmissions in them. So if you want to be a trucker one of these days, growing up, which they do make quite a good amount of money, a cheap manual tr truck would probably do you well. And learning how to drive manual is key. Even though I think theirs is a little bit different than an actual vehicle. Ooh, that looks good. Place. I don't even know how to say that. It's, I'm just going to say it's first. Jeez. And finish this up. World Rally Cross Championship. That Joker, jeez, that can make or break. Light rain showers. Good lord. Heck, I've been thinking about even getting a pickup. I had an old Chevy S10, which I kind of miss. It was a good truck, but it was falling apart, and it was just starting to be more and more expensive to keep up on maintenance on it. I kept it long enough to pay off my, pretty much my loan and have a couple of months without a loan. But I was also repairing it. <laughs> I bought the pins and whatnot for it, I just need to get the time to actually replace the 
thing was nice. Um, the only reason why I got rid of it is the place that I uh, the place that I got my current car from had a 2009 Lancer GTS, which was really nice and it was a manual. And I really wanted to learn how to drive manual. And pretty much four months after getting my uh, Mazda, what else can we do? So that, I don't know. Not only that, but my car, for example, uh, 
I owe twice as much as what my car is valued at, so that's where I'm at for that's what I mean by upside down, you owe more than what's valued. You kind of want to avoid that situation. That's why if you go to a dealership or you go somewhere to buy a vehicle, make sure to bring a good amount of money with you, roughly about 10% of what the vehicle is owed. Or I actually had some warranty work literally, literally this past week on Tuesday. I had warranty work done on my car, which replaced an oil pan gasket that was going out. So it's kind of ironic. Like literally, I just had that replaced, and now I got damage on my car again. It's ironic, but you know it happens. But. Yeah, I just had some warranty work done with it. So, if you, if you buy a brand new car with a warranty and you think about modding it, wait until your warranty runs out. And that would just be it. So, the 
different other than what came from factory mobile voice. And once you have the voice warranty, you can't get that back. Which is, I guess, the benefit of having a new car. Remember it goes new and new car packet. And if it's up and down for it, I guess. I don't know. I'm just trying to... vehicles. I've been in a couple of them. But warranty is a good thing to have. Used cars, you won't have warranty so you'll have to pay out of pocket. You can go out and buy like a third party company and buy a warranty that way. But we'll see. Some people don't really necessarily need it. But then again, if something were to happen, something were to go out on it, then you'd probably have to pay like everything out of pocket. Like if you buy a new car with a manual transmission, either or, I know with the manual transmission, even with the new car, you necessarily most companies don't pay. I 
probably be some more things soon because it's not really top of the order here. Maybe fall trees is coming up in a second, but that's the game that started on this. What I wanted to get was the ice fall trees. I love that game. Like a short time frame, which is awesome. You guys are awesome. Speaking of which, we just crossed like 10 subs, which that is freaking amazing. 10 of you guys really liked watching this stuff, and I appreciate every single sub and what you guys do. You guys can also comment down below as well, like on older videos. I do try to look back at those if they pop up, I'll look at them and I will reply to them. Some of them, if it's spam, then obviously I'm not going to reply to them. Because I really don't like spam. I'm just kind of like, really. I mean, I don't go to other YouTube videos and just post spam about my channel or something like that. So, it's just a bad.
how to do the job. That's why I said we need to up our schooling. So I should be able to have people smart enough to do a set job. Or a set skill. I think we're done with this now, aren't we? Yes, we are. Every sun is racing. Yay! It's just the... Where do I cross? A fire? You've earned a place in history for this victory. Well done. Ooh. Now you can choose the fearless precept, Ooh, or you can nice race skin. against the most brutal opponents. You have also taken a step towards unlocking the prestigious Dirt 4 Triple Crown, a title prestigious only bestowed to drivers that finish in first place in all three Triple Crown Championships. First place in all the championships? Ooh, we got Ricardo on there too. Ricardo's are awesome. Nice seats. I heard they're really good. Congratulations! You are the FIA World Rallycross Champion. In these 21st century temples to adrenaline, you've been the one to energize the crowd. You've nailed every joker, shaved every apex, traded paint with the best racers in the world, and triumphed. That really wasn't hard. Like, I stomped the crap out of them. That's 100%. Uh, we got the historics open. There's four of those, three of these. Uh, we got two more of these to do. But we got to go through this set, that one, and then that one. I think this one's a final. Four, two, and one. Alrighty, how long was that? That was pretty dang long. Let's see what we got for cars, though. We just got a new skin. Vehicles. A uh, garage. Uh, library. Did we just get a new one? That's not it. I thought we got a new one. Oh, is that the vehicle? No, it's not the vehicle. It's the dirtfish one. Yeah, I don't know. I thought we got a new uh, livey. That might have been it. Was it it? Probably not. That's amazing. I love that. That's amazing there. Monster. There's my Fiesta Rallycross Supercar dealership. There's actually stuff I need to do. If we go to team, there's a lot of things I'm behind on. Like all this I just discovered, I think, in the last, at the end of the last one. Jeez. That's. I can go up to A with that one. That's expensive. Logistics. I can go to C. Grease relations. R and D would be nice, but I can't go any further than that. Recycling center E. Uh, I get a discount. Uh, maybe. That's tool fleet workshop. I know there's one that has a private collector, I think it is. Find more rarer vehicles. Yeah, I'll up that. Jeez, that was expensive. Good lord, lounge. Let's get my boys some better lounge. Uh, recycling, let's bring that up. I think that might be all that I do because it's starting to get... Ugh. Starting to get low on money. VIP suite. Uh, no, we'll not do that. We'll do that next time. Right now, what's. If I go to staffing, I can hire on two more engineers. Yes, please. You're C, D, D, D. You're the only C? Really? Okay, fine. Offer, please. Accepted. Sweet. You, your D. Is. Drive train. I need to really figure out what I have and what I need. Another engineer, D. So if I need a drive chain chassis, 
I might need drivetrain because I've been like a lot of it's kind of ugh. 50 higher higher fee 50 credits ugh. we'll wait we'll do some more races and get some more money for doing that but I think I owe you guys at least one more race here let's see here um Actually, these are all going to be more than one, aren't they? Yeah, there's two in here. There's four stages to that one. Four to that one. And my dog is barking. So, I think I'm going to end it here for tonight. Thank you guys for uh, watching tonight. Tomorrow night, hopefully, to do some more Dirt 4. Because I want to actually get through this game. But other than that, um, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great evening. Oh, you know what's... Have a good evening and a great night. There we go.